Hello, welcome back to Brand Sushi Love Noting. In this episode, I will be sharing with you this Node 3 setup that's actually using um, Circle Curve and a couple of nodes that's related to Curve. So this is unlike the Polygon or Counterpart, unlike the Normal Circle. So if you search Circle, we have Normal Circle, which is going to output Mesh. This one is actually using um, Curve. Okay, so so instead of getting a circle that's kind of segmented like that, you actually have a real circle. And with real circle like this, you can split the curve, whatever you like, and you're, you're still getting curve for each one of them. And then you can also use something like curve segment where you can trim you can trim the curve whatever you like so this is actually uh, what's going on over here so let me show you with just a couple of circle um, this thing is actually yeah it's easier to understand like this with this example so okay I start with the circle I give it a radius and there's a T minimum and T maximum there's also a degree etc you can adjust that easily T maximum is usually double pi. That. And with a split curve, there's an even number and explicit. In this case, I'm using even, so split it evenly. However, you can also turn on split and you can randomize the number between 0 and 1. So you can do that quite easily. Actually, to make random number between zero and one is uh, an interesting problem. Anyhow, for now, just use even number and split it. Okay. So this is pretty cool already. And I'm turning on this rescale because I want to use curve segment. So it's this one is normalizing it normalizing the curve and then we now with this one you can kind of trim the t minimum and maximum i believe that's what we, that's what's going on all right so the, now it's pretty clear if we if i turn off the zero zero to one it's gonna stop there like that in this case we want it on and then extrude curve along vector. So this also this is also pretty interesting. Okay, you can see what's going on. It's extruding the curve along certain vector. In this case, I just use the vector up, but for each vector, I have different value of z-axis. Okay, so we have this kind of nice arrangement like a building or like a book in circle and random number and split with a thickness in the uh, at this point i'm actually after we extrude the curve along vector it becomes a surface so originally it's just a curve profile um so now it's evaluating um you can do something actually pretty cool here after you evaluate surface it's become a normal mesh and then you solidify like normally on top of that you can actually randomize the thickness like that yeah, this one is, might be a little bit weird but uh, you might just want to understand this for now And as a result, we have mass viewer of multiple objects that you can also merge. So this is yeah, probably the easiest example of circle as a curve. So if I if I show you again from scratch, the normal circle 
is going to be outputting outputting mesh. And this guy is also, I believe, you can split it, but you can segment it. Yeah, so it's basically different from the other one. With this one, you'll get a segment, and it's hard to get a circle that's actually a circle. That's why you use circle that's actually a curve like this and you can separate it um, using segment you can do scale so um, you can actually use evaluate curve in here so what you're gonna get is something interesting like this guy over here It's a curve, there's a curve segment, there's also a split curve. Now this is, yeah, this is curve segment, okay, so it's in the segment of curve. But before we do that, we split the curve first, evenly split it and we scale and then and then we play with the segmentation of the curve. Now we have this completely different result. Hopefully you, this one is a little bit easier to understand. Now it's a, it's a curve and it's split. This is before we extrude it. So at this point you can actually extrude it after you're resampling, resampling the curve. You can randomize it, do things like that. Alright, so this is already quite another different example. Totally. Um, so, you can use polyline viewer, for example. So this is a, it's pretty nice that you can do this pretty easily. So I'm putting random, actually I'm putting a range of number here. So we have, we have a different seed for each one of these. Yeah, I think I have an idea what to use for this, but uh, yeah. This is using circle, split, curve segment, but evaluating it as a curve that I turn into polyline viewer, and now it's becoming these nerves. All right, so this is another example. Just gonna save it circle curve so there you go that's the circle curve example the most basic example hopefully you find this uh, useful appreciations of the circle curve there's there's actually a lot more if you see here there's a phase from surface and then the solidify phase etc etc this one some of them actually requires you to have extras like with stretch up there are many extras, extra nodes that you, you can only get after you install the other one, including FreeCAD. So yeah, maybe you want to try that in order to get extra nodes like this example by Victor Dorval. So yeah, this one is also using circle, curve, similar to my example. Yeah, actually I'm following this and trying to appreciate the circle curve. Alright, so thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.